Kevin Ashton, How to Fly a Horse, The Secret History of Creation, Invention, and Discovery. In the book, How to Fly a Horse, Kevin Ashton debunks the myth that creativity solely comes from a rare spark of genius. Instead, he explores the truth that creation is a result of careful thinking and problem-solving. Ashton uses examples from history, science, and technology to demonstrate how no creation is entirely new, but rather builds on the work of countless predecessors. Along the way, he stresses the importance of hard work, resilience, and collaboration for achieving creativity. This summary will guide you through key themes of the book, encouraging you to reevaluate your beliefs and understanding about creativity and innovation. The Creativity Myth Debunked The idea that only a select few possess creative genius is a myth. In reality, creativity is the result of careful thinking and problem-solving. Through examples of famous inventors and experiments, it's clear that anyone can unleash their creativity. Have you ever believed that geniuses are born, not made? Or that creativity is a magical, innate talent that only a special few possess? The truth is, these are complete myths. Nobody is fundamentally different from the rest of us, and no creator is exempt from this rule. The creativity myth preaches that only a small and gifted few are chosen for creative greatness and that their success relies on flashes of magical genius insight. But if we look at the life of any genius, it's clear that careful thinking and problem solving, not superiority and spontaneous inspiration, led to their success. Take Archimedes, for example. He didn't stumble on the concept of water displacement and volume, it came after a long period of thinking and trying to develop solutions to the problem. Creativity itself is merely the act of thinking about how to solve a problem, something that all humans possess with varying degrees of intensity. This has been demonstrated in countless experiments, like the box experiment. What Dunker found is that the processes of arriving at solutions were the same for each person who attempted the experiment. In conclusion, it's time to debunk the myth of creativity by acknowledging that anyone can unleash their creativity through careful thinking and problem solving. Building Innovations Innovation is not born out of moments of genius nor the work of a single individual. It depends on the contributions of thousands of people and generations that came before. Innovations are built on the work of countless thinkers from the past, as demonstrated by the story of Edmund, a 12-year-old black slave who discovered how to make the vanilla pod self-pollinate. Every new creation brings forth fresh opportunities for future innovations but presents new, unforeseen problems that need to be solved creatively. Like Coca-Cola, which evolved from a bottled patent medicine to a canned refreshment, innovations solve current problems but create new ones. Building upon innovations is an ongoing process that not only brings many benefits but also inspires us to develop new solutions for the problems of tomorrow. Steve Jobs' Creative Process The creation of the iPhone was not an overnight success but a result of baby steps, problem-solving, and asking questions. Steve Jobs' creative process involved carefully considering theoretical steps and narrowing down solutions as he solved problems. However, inattentional blindness can hamper creativity, preventing us from seeing every possibility. To think like Jobs, we must open our minds and see everything, not just what we expect to see. The Role of Hard Work and Resilience in Creating Something Great Creating something great requires effort, commitment, and resilience in the face of failure. Despite the belief in waiting for inspiration to strike, success is only achieved through hard work. Igor Stravinsky's ritual of playing a Bach fugue before working is an example of maintaining focus and staying on track. However, creating something great is not without failure, and being able to withstand those failures is crucial. Stephen King regularly discards 300 pages in his pursuit of producing a good book. Failure is inevitable, but it provides valuable lessons that help you grow and improve. Accepting rejection is also important as it shows you where to go and what to change for your next attempt. The tale of Franz Reichelt, who jumped from the Eiffel Tower with a flawed parachute despite warnings, 
highlights the dangers of ignoring expert advice. Ultimately, success is only achieved through hard work, commitment, resilience, and the ability to learn from failure. The Power of Small Creative Teams Creative work is best accomplished in small, motivated teams where creative conversation is encouraged. The primary focus of such a team is to identify and solve creative problems as a group while establishing individual goals. The creators of South Park use this method successfully by identifying and solving problems together before dividing individual tasks. Unfortunately, many companies stifle creative thinking, but there are organizations that encourage it by using a process called Show Me, allowing individuals to share and test new ideas. Clarence Kelly Johnson at Lockheed used this process to create America's first jet fighter by solving a design flaw with a twin tail. Working in small creative teams can lead to effective problem solving and the production of high quality work within a short time frame. Ultimately, Kevin Ashton's How to Fly a Horse dissolves the myth that creativity is a sudden stroke of genius reserved for a few. Instead, creation is grounded in careful thinking, problem solving, and building upon the work of those who came before. Ashton emphasizes the value of hard work, staying resilient against failures, and effective collaboration within the right teams. By cultivating creativity through a systematic and determined approach, anyone can achieve significant contributions and innovative solutions. Embrace the true power of creativity by learning from this insightful book and applying the lessons to your own life and endeavors.